Right. So, so it, people with money and power are discussing that, but also people who are scientists, policymakers, you know, who don't have lots of money and power are discussing this too, because things have gotten, we, we have put so much uh, greenhouse gas pollution into the atmosphere that, that some of it needs to be removed in some way. Now, there's a discussion about how we do that. Is it through natural, like through the natural environment, like protecting more forests or replanting, replanting mangrove uh, um, forests uh, along coasts? That's a natural solution to absorb more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But other solutions are that um, you would either capture carbon dioxide from the air, that's called direct air capture, right? And there are pilot projects running all over the world for that, or you, before, like, you know, as um, power plants and other, uh, you know, other facilities put greenhouse gases into the atmosphere through their smokestacks, you catch it before it leaves the smokestack. You uh, use uh, chemical processes to strip away the carbon dioxide. Then you ship it somewhere where the geology is suitable for you to inject it deep underground and to keep it underground, right? Uh, these all have, um, you know, uh, there, there, are, there are serious climate scientists who are like, we have to rely on the, like nature is not gonna be enough. And nature also doesn't stay protected forever, right? 